Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we are taking you to Legoland. So this was our very first trip to Legoland. Um, we tried to film as much as we possibly could. I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of talking in this video. My husband will be narrating most of it because we only had one day. This was a complimentary trip courtesy of Legoland California. So thank you Legoland California for hosting us. We had an absolute blast and we want to take you guys with us. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell icon so that you will always know when I put out a new video and let's head to Legoland. So all throughout the park, they have a bunch of spots here with Legos all set up and you can just sit down and play with all kinds of Legos. So the kids have found one of those spots. <laughs> So before coming to Legoland, one of the things that I was actually looking forward to was the mini land. And uh, you'll see why. I'm going to show you guys my favorite part. So let's go take a look at it. So the Ninjago Land actually has a lot of cool stuff inside of it because it's kind of based around ninjas. They actually have some things in here that you can play around on to test out your skills. So in the wind station, you actually have to try and hold on, which uh, Wrigley's doing a pretty good job. Might be part ninja after all. The earth one shows you have the ability to rock climb. And Wrigley loves to rock climb. So here he comes flying in. Oh, 
and the lightning tests your speed with how fast you can hit the lights. How fast can you hit the buttons, Wrigley? Go, 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 go. One, two, three. And when you're finally done and you don't want to carry this stuff around, you can go to the big shop where they have tons and tons of Lego stuff. Clothing, Lego models, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you stop here before you leave and pick up something to take home. That's a wrap. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video of our very first trip to Legoland. It was a short trip. It was only one day. Um, Legoland's hours are a lot shorter than what we're used to. And being Disneyland pass holders, we really like to take in the details of parks. Um, one of the biggest misconceptions that I noticed, and my husband as well, was that um, prior to this trip, everybody told me, you only need one day at Legoland. It's only like a half a day trip to a full day max. That is false. <laughs> My husband and I both agree, as well as the kids, that when we go back, which we will be back in August, we definitely need at least three days, um, if not more. Uh, we're considering getting passes because there is so much to take in. This park is so toddler friendly. And when I say toddler friendly, I mean the biggest tip that I can give you is ditch the stroller. Ditch the stroller, ditch the stroller, ditch the stroller. We decided since we were only gonna be there for one day that the kids could just walk and we would not even bring the stroller to the park and it was the best decision we ever made. Um, Legoland is so toddler friendly in the sense that everything is very interactive. The kids were able to just walk around and explore and touch everything. Everything is there to be able to be touched and handled and there are so many interactive um, things. You're not just walking from one ride to the next. They really put a lot of detail into this park and I think, I think that's why our family specifically um, really just thinks that this is definitely not a one day park. There's too much to explore and take in between the rides, the um, the Lego brick build stations, the games, the water park, which we didn't even get to this trip, um, sea life, which we also did not get to this trip. So there's a lot to it. There really is. So you're gonna need to hit that subscribe button. You're gonna need to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss our next video on our next trip to Legoland where I'm going to show you all the things that I didn't get to show you but wanted to in this first video. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.